Welcome back to the third day of the Zoe Sew Along. You're going to start by grabbing your front and your back and then also your two strap pieces. Um, be very aware of where your double notches and your single notches are so that you know um, which side it goes on. And if you are using the heat and bond soft stretch like I am, go ahead and take that paper backing off um, so that it will stretch around the armhole while you're pinning it. So your front and back should be right sides up, like I'm showing here below, and then also where the tops are kind of pointing towards each other. And then you're going to take your straps and you are going to first match up those single or double notches in the armhole, then match up the sides or the ends. And then the middle notches, there's two middle notches on your strap, those are going to line up with the very top of your front or your back. Now that the straps are all pinned, we're going to go over to our sewing machine and we are going to stitch at a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and your stretch stitch along each of the straps. Uh, be extra, extra careful that you're hitting that top corner, right? Uh, that folded edge is exactly 3 8 of an inch wide and you should be able to just perfectly hit that uh, when you're sewing. It's really important and it's why I do recommend doing this on your sewing machine and not a serger. Remember that that strap is slightly smaller than the armhole that it is being sewn to, so you're going to have to slightly stretch it to fit and make sure that those edges line up. Once again, it's really important that you hit the top of your front or back perfectly otherwise um, it is going to be poking out a bit of your strap so once you do it the first time you'll get the hang of it and it won't be so hard uh, but hitting that correctly really makes for a more professional finish on your straps once you pass that top point I find it's easiest to just continue sewing at 3 8 of an inch through that strap section and then I use that as kind of my fold line but if you'd rather you could also stop backstitch and then pick it back up and start at the ever other top pointed edge and continue sewing. And that's it, I want to show you how that intersection looks once you've sewn it. Um, it should look something like this. And now you're gonna go and you are going to repeat this for the other side, other strap of your Zoe. This time I decided to sew it with the strap facing up. There's pros and cons to doing it both ways. The nice thing about this is you are able to control the stretch of your strap more. The downside is that you're not able to see that little angled piece of your front and back when you're hitting those corners. So do it whichever way you prefer.
we've included two different methods for finishing your straps and your side seams. Option one attaches the strap flat and makes it easier to get an even and professional finish to your straps. The downside is that it's less finished on the inside of the garment. I see this one often in ready to wear fashion. Option two is a bit of a more professional finish. It attaches the straps in the round. It can be a little bit trickier, but it gives a cleaner finish on the inside of the garment. If you're gonna do option one, we'll be finishing that up today. If you prefer to do option two, you can stop for today and come back tomorrow to finish up your Zoe. Okay, so let's continue on with option one. Just like you did on the front and back neck bands, you're gonna have the wrong side facing up and you're gonna pull the folded edge of that strap around to the back side and then you are going to adhere it or pin it so that that folded edge slightly passes the stitch line that you just made and then in the middle section here where it creates the strap you are just going to line up those folded edges um, like I said before I'm using that heat and bond soft stretch so I'm just adhering it with my iron um, but you can also do it with pins of course just make sure that you're really careful and make it nice and neat And this is what it should look like once it's all pressed and pinned. As you can see, there's no seam allowances poking out. It should look really nice and neat, especially up at those corners. Um, taking extra care right now, getting this all correct will make the finished product look so much better. Okay, let's repeat that for the other side now. Now that that is done, let's flip over our garment so the right side is facing up. You're gonna go over to your sewing machine using that stretch stitch. You're gonna edge stitch the entire armhole and strap. It's gonna be not only attaching it to your armhole, but it's also gonna be finishing that strap at the same time. And there you go, all your straps are completely attached. Go ahead and give them some good steam in case they got stretched out a bit during construction. Fold your Zoe in half so that it is right sides touching and line up those side seams. Be extra careful that the very top of your straps match up at the top of the side seam. Um, and then go ahead and pin it all the way down to the hem. And then we're gonna go over to our sewing machine and using a stretch stitch, or this is one place you probably could serge, we're gonna stitch at 3 eighths of an inch on both sides, being extra careful once again about that top edge.
Okay, now that that is all stitched up, we're gonna go back to our ironing board. And we're gonna press that entire seam allowance towards the back. That little upper portion where there's all the bulk from the strap can get a little bit thick. So sometimes I like to put a little pin in there. We're gonna go back over to our sewing machine now and we're gonna tack that down. So using a straight stitch, we will stitch up and down the length of the strap at a fourth of an inch behind the side seam. Okay, and this is what it should look like. So it's nice and tacked down on the inside, so it's nice and flat. Um, that is it for today. So tomorrow when we come back, we will go over the second option for the straps and the side seams, and then we'll also be hemming our Zoe.